Yes, there's much to look forward to in this September 2022 edition of JW Broadcasting. The theme for this program is, As Jehovah's Sheep Reject the Voice of Strangers. Some examples of their strange teachings are that the faithful slave protects pedophiles, or that slave will exploit you so they can live lives of luxury. Those are both bald-faced lies. As you heard, Stephen let himself said that apostates claim that the governing body exploit its flock so that they can live in luxury. How these are apostate lies. Last week, I spoke about cognitive dissonance, how it's hard to find out facts that go against your very truth. So this video might get some of those bells ringing. What I'm going to do is just go over the last 10 years or so of what we've been told against what has actually happened. I thought I might start with the sale of New York Bethel and the opening of Warwick. Maybe this might bring things to mind. That we can honor or show respect and appreciation for Jehovah with our valuable things. What first might come to mind are our material possessions, our finances. Well, that is true. And we want to talk about this a little bit later. But there are many other valuables that a Christian can offer to Jehovah to give him the honor that he is worthy of. For example... Okay, before he starts reading the scripture, I would like to put it in context here. Here are the first nine verses. Can you tell me where it's talking about a material contribution? Isn't it more about our loving kindness? Nevertheless, just as you abound in everything, in faith and word and knowledge and all earnestness, and in our love for you, may you... And in this I give my opinion. This is for your benefit, seeing that already a year ago you not only initiated the action, but also showed your desire to do it. But here is what Stephen is saying, it says... And in this, I give my opinion. This is for your benefit, seeing that already a year ago, you not only initiated the action, that is, of contributing, but also showed your desire to do it. So now, also complete what you started to do, so that your readiness to act or contribute may be completed according to, now notice, the means you have available. I didn't see any material contributions in those verses. Did you? Let's continue. Here are the videos the organization put out regarding Warwick. Another misimpression that has been brought to our attention is that the sale of property in New York City 
means that fewer donations are needed. To help put things in proper perspective, however, selling one of the significant properties in New York really only covered the operating expenses for the worldwide work for a few weeks. Now, that's one significant property. And in actuality, the sale of property in New York City is basically only financing the construction of world headquarters in Warwick and the purchase of other properties that are needed. Well, we are happy to announce that on Wednesday, July 17, the Warwick Planning Board unanimously approved the site plan for the new world headquarters of Jehovah's Witnesses. We would like to let you know something about our current situation. Then you can respond as your heart impels you. As you might have sensed, I am not shy about this subject. And why not? To Exodus chapter 35. 
Now think about this. We have looked forward to this next fiscal year and projected the expenditures for all of the theocratic initiatives we are scheduling. In doing the math, we found that the amount of money flowing out will be much greater than the amount of money that we have coming in at this time. Well, there are some facts that we want to make you aware of. For one thing, the financial needs in the field showed that some 1,600 new kingdom halls or major renovations are needed, not sometime in the future, but right now. And worldwide, we are in need of more than 14,000 places of worship, not including ongoing future growth. In the past 15 years, 30,000 kingdom halls have been built. Now, if you figure that up, that averages about 2,000 kingdom halls every year. But in an effort to relieve the serious backlog more quickly, we intend, Jehovah willing, to complete 3,000 kingdom hall projects every year going forward. Now, that's a 50% increase. Additionally, adjustments are being made to simplify the kingdom hall design in order to accelerate the construction schedule. I'm not sure if you caught it, because they really kind of go over things really fast. But a few years ago, all of the kingdom halls, all of the titles, whether they were paid for or not, were signed over to the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society. What the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society did was say, we're going to forgive all of the loans, all of the outstanding loans. But what they didn't include in that was the fact that they were going to take over titles that were paid for. So they were free and clear. There was nothing to take over. And yet the brothers had to turn around and pay rent to the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society. And on top of that, maintain the properties that they had already paid for, but now are owned by the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society, but they're required to pay for it. Anyhow, it was a thing. So one br brother wrote, and these are beautiful friends, different ones worshiping Jehovah for many decades. He said, during the annual meeting of 2019, the Ramapo project was announced. And if I remember right, it was stated that the project would be complete in a few years. With recent Watchtower articles telling us that we are in the last of the last days, beautiful expression, but words are powerful. It seemed a little disappointing that this may push Armageddon off a few years. This was his sincere concern, really. And you know he's not alone. They're only human. Now, says many of the projects that are being worked on now, like Ramapo and the Good News, according to Jesus' video series, may or perhaps will carry over into the new world. We have to let that sink in. This is Ramapo, a site about the same size as Warwick, which will include a new media production center and the largest film studio space the organization has ever undertaken. It's hard to imagine all the work that will take place to complete this complex. We will need lots of help. With Jehovah's help, 
Arrangements have been made for quality housing only five minutes from the building site, which will house the majority of the volunteers working on the project. This is a huge accomplishment, since this will help to reduce fatigue and cost. With the progress on the building permits, with the housing that's now available, with the confidence that the governing body has in this project, we can see that this project has Jehovah's backing. Don't forget, we still have Wallkill, Fishkill, Patterson, The Farm, Warwick, and now soon Ramapo. Here are some quick tours of Wallkill and Patterson back in the day. There's also Fishkill, don't forget. We used to use all of the facilities in Brooklyn Bethel for printing the literature we shared with other people, but now everything is digital. So we went from a publishing company to, I guess, a real estate company. 
Well, Stephen Knight did accuse apostates of lying. I'm not sure what you would call those facilities such as Wallkill anything but luxurious. What about all of the other individual branch facilities around the world? How about individual governing body members? Or that slave will exploit you so they can live lives of luxury. Those are both bald-faced lies. Thank you for the generous donations you have made online at donate.jw.org and by other means. Some examples of their strange teachings are that the faithful slave protects pedophiles, or that slave will exploit you so they can live lives of luxury. Those are both bald-faced lies. Coming soon, does the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society protect pedophiles? Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please like algorithms. And if you've really enjoyed it, please follow along for more so that you get notified. Thank you for watching.